Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm so glad that you're here with us today at the midweek meeting. You know, God loves you and I love you guys too. And I do. And that's why I, I'm doing these meetings because I do care about you. And I can't wait till I can see you guys again. And I hope you're watching here with your mom or dad or grandpa or grandma or aunt or uncle or brother or sister. And at the midweek meetings, I have a challenge for you guys. Do you remember what that challenge is? That's right. If you remember, remember, or if you memorize four sets of verses, I'll send you a free gift. And next week, I might show you what that gift is. But for now, let me just say it's fuzzy and fun. It's a fuzzy and fun gift that I'll send you in the mail. And everyone loves to get something in the mail. It's exciting to wait for it. And when it arrives, it's almost like Christmas. And you get to open it up and find out what it is. So I can't wait to show you guys what that might be next week, okay? Now, do you remember the two verses from last week? That's right. It was Romans 5, 8 and Romans 6, 23. And a lot of you guys know those verses already. That's why we're counting that as one group of verses. Now, the verses for this week are Colossians 1, 16 and 17. And let me read them to you. It goes like, they go like this. Ready? It's this. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and earth, Invisible, invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. Now I have that memorized in a different translation, but I'll memorize it this way for next week also, right along with you guys. It's an exciting group of verses. But let's pray before we talk about that for this a few minutes, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you will speak to us and through us and that you will become amazing to us because of who you are. Let us grow more in awe of you and let us fall more in love with you so we can let you serve through us to other people this week. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. Well, let's talk about these verses a minute. But before we do, I want you guys to watch a song. You can find this song if you go to YouTube and have your somebody type in Seeds Family Worship Colossians. And this song will pop up and it will help you memorize this verse in a fun way. So let's watch the song.
members understand social distancing. Okay, what a great video. I like that video because it teaches you in a fun way how to memorize God's word through songs. Now parents, our grandparents, don't, don't text me or call me saying something was wrong with the video, it was kind of scratchy and that, that's the way it was made to be. It's industrial and it's made to be that way. Now I want to tell you guys a story about when I was a little bit older than you. I went on a mission trip to a bunch of national parks sharing Christ with people, with a group of people throughout America. And I saw some pretty neat things and pretty amazing things. But the last place we were stopping was the Grand Canyon. And now this was the big, the big one. This is the one we all wanted to see that we told would blow us away if we saw it and when we saw it. And we drove up on the bus and we drove past it and we were looking out the window and we couldn't see anything. We went to the campground and we walked to the edge of the campground and still couldn't see anything. And then finally the next day we got to go to the edge of the Grand Canyon. And when we walked up there, there were people in the way and you couldn't see much. And the closer you got, you saw parts of it. And when we got up to the edge and you saw it, no one spoke. We were just like, oh. In every other national park we were at, you could look at one thing and you could see like the tip of the mountain. Or you could look at it and see most of it and you didn't have to look around. But the Grand Canyon was so big, you had to look all up and down and you, you couldn't take it all in. It just blew you away and it made you feel really tiny and small and insignificant. But at the same time, it, a peace came over you and you were wowed and you were like, wow. So you had these two things going on. You had a fear. Nobody was going to run up to the edge and play next to it. But you also had this amazement like, wow, and a calmness over you. So you can have fear and calmness going on at the same time. What's going on? God made us that way. God made us to be amazed by things. And everything is created for him and through him to point to him. When we see God face to face, we're not going to run up and high five him. He's not a, a, a friendly, happy stuffed animal type God is going, ooh, you know, he's not. We're going to be, we're, there's going to be fear in us, but there's also going to be peace and happiness and joy too at the same time. Just like when I, it's kind of like when I saw the Grand Canyon and that's how it's going to be. God is, there's some, there's a fear when we see him, but there's also a joy and a wonder and an amazement when we see him and a love when we see him. That's all going to be there at the same time. See, you can have two opposite feelings going on in you at the same time. I was overwhelmed, not only by the Grand Canyon, but at the God who made it. And that's what gave me the peace and the joy and the amazement. I got a question for you. Name a time when you were overcome by nature. When was a time when you saw something that you were with this like, it might have been when you went outside in the middle of the night and you looked up and you saw all the stars in the sky and you were just like, wow. And you just felt really tiny and small, but at the same time you were amazed. Maybe it was sometime when you went up on a mountain and you were on the edge of a cliff and you were looking out and you saw the land in front of you and you were like, wow, this is amazing. Or when you saw a waterfall. Maybe it was in a storm. I can remember one time, a few years ago, there was a really bad storm coming through and we were in a little house that didn't have a basement that was even up on a hill and there were tornadoes going through the area, not far from my house and we, there was no place to go. And I stood out on the porch and watched the hail falling around us and at one time I was scared, but I also knew that God was in control. There was nothing we could do about it. But I knew that God was sovereign and in control and he was going to protect us right where we were. I wasn't foolish and I didn't go running outside. But there was no place to go in the house either, really. And, um, but I felt a fear and a calmness knowing that God was with me in that storm. And maybe you had that experience too. Listen to this, what it says in Colossians 1, 16. It says, for by him all things were created in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. 
The him in this verse is talking about Jesus. It's Jesus made everything. Yes, he was here before he came to Bethlehem. He was ruling and he was alive and he created all the heavens and earth and everything in it. In fact, nobody created Jesus. No one created God. No one created God, the Father, the Holy Spirit. They always existed for eternity. That's what makes them God. And the same God that created the Grand Canyon made everything, including the storms in our life. And even though we can be scared when we're going through those storms and when we're going through trials and hard times, we can know that he's there with us in them, controlling what's going on around us. And that's why we can have fear and comfort at the same time. So let's just close. I just want to close by saying, you know what? Next time you see something that blows you away, and you maybe look up at the stars tonight and you see them in the sky and it makes you feel really small because you know that our sun is just one of those thousands and thousands of stars out there. You can know that God knows your name and knows you and that he created you and that he knows your name and he created you for himself so you can give him glory. Let's pray. Jesus, help us to pause and be overwhelmed by your creation. Let that happen tonight and throughout this whole week. And when we're overwhelmed, help us to think about how amazing you are and about your power and your goodness. Help us to trust you more with the small challenges in our life and to understand your ultimate power and that you are in control of all things. Let us be blown away by you. In Jesus' powerful and wonderful name I pray. Amen. I'll see you guys next week.